Happy Sabbath. Happy Day. My name is Hannah Misati, and our children's story today is entitled The Limits of a Father's Love. But before I say it, let us pray. Our loving and gracious Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for helping us and protecting us and giving us the privilege to be here. I pray that this story may touch and bless people. In Jesus' name we pray. There was once a father who had a very sick child whom he loved a great deal. The father would sit at the child's bed day and night, looking after him with the greatest tenderness, watching his every breath, his every move, his every motion. Then one night as the father sat near the child's bed, the child suddenly arose and in his sleep walked into the kitchen. He then proceeded to break everything down. He broke the chairs and the table and most of the dishes and the pots and pans. After causing so much damage, he went back to bed. The father stood and beheld this tragic scene with pain and grief in his heart. But he said and did nothing. He was afraid to awaken his child lest he should injure his child's health. The following night, as the father continued to sit at the child's bed, suddenly the child arose and this time walked into the library. He then proceeded, as the night before, to destroy most of the great books and literary works that were there. He tore and ripped and destroyed until he left the library in an almost complete state of destruction. Then he went back to bed. Again, the father stood and beheld this terrible scene, and again he said and did nothing. He was afraid to awaken his child. Finally, on the third night, as the father sat trembling near the child's bed, suddenly the child arose and this time walked into the kitchen, picked up a knife and proceeded to walk into the bedroom where his brother slept. The father watched, terrified, as his sick child approached his brother's bed and as he raised his arm, about to plunge the knife into his brother's heart, Suddenly, the father lunged forward and, grabbing his sick child's arm, cried out, Stop! You cannot do this. When you destroyed everything in the kitchen, I said nothing. When you even destroyed everything in the library, I still said nothing. But when you want to plunge the knife into the heart of my child, then I must awaken you and I must stop you and tell you, stop, you cannot do this. My friends, we have destroyed so many of the laws of our faith. We have neglected to study the great treasures of the spirit of prophecy, and yet we have not been awakened from our tragic lethargy. We have destroyed so many of the laws of our kitchen. We have neglected to study the great Bible and yet have not been awakened from our sleep. But when we want to forget our children, yes, when we are about to plant the dagger into their spiritual hearts, then we must be awakened and we must be stopped and told, Stop! You cannot do this. You cannot forget about your children. You cannot forsake them. You must help them live physically, mentally, and spiritually. You must say to them, wait while you come with our help, so that your worries will pass away and your problems will be resolved and you will have peace and plenty. 
My friends, I say to you, we dare not forget our people, especially our children. We have forgotten so many of the great concepts of the Bible. We have neglected so many of the great precepts of our faith. But we dare not forget our children. For if we forget our children, then we forget about everything and then they cannot say to them, stand and wait for us, because they cannot wait forever. The spiritual, physical, and mental lives of our children is at stake, and we must be awakened to our sacred responsibility. The memory verse comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 13 to 16, and it says, some people brought children to Jesus for him to place his hands upon them, but the disciples called it the people. When Jesus saw this, he got angry and said to his disciples, Let the children come to me and do not stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. I assure you that whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children into his arms, placed his hands on each one of them, and blessed them. Amen.